Hi everyone, so today we are here in conversation with Professor Sanjeeva Shankar Dubey, who is the Dean of Academics at New Technology. We'll be talking to him to understand more about the Institute and the selection process. Hi sir, welcome on board. It is certainly our pleasure to come and see you this morning. It's my pleasure to be here. So we know Big Tech is a renowned institution pattern here. But tell us some of the four USP of the Vishnu program that differentiates Big Tech from the other PM institutions. Okay, thank you. So uh, in one line, if I have to summarize, I will say that Big Tech makes you a complete manager. And when I say this, I have got three pillars to rest on. The first one is this teaching learning quality which is certified by world-class accreditation institutions like ASCSP and the Indian institutions like NBA and ICT. The second one is that the way we deliver our program, which has got components of entrepreneurship, the components of outreach, our uh, incubation center, our incubation center. And third is the kind of engagement our students uh, undertake during the course of uh, these three years. So for them, uh, it, it becomes a complete practice. It is not just a degree, but it's a, a complete experience which they get out of these two years of their stay. So really, so all what you're saying is it's just not the academic journey, but there's a lot of student engagement that they have to go through to make sure that they get the practical exposure also. Yeah, right? We don't want them to be a book walk. We yeah. want to be a manager. Yeah. But they cannot be a good manager without having any uh, theoretical background. Yeah understanding of what is happening around the world mm -hmm. but at the same time they have to deliver mm -hmm. so we, we ask them to deliver things you know they do field studies mm -hmm. they work on research projects they work on iot lab they create uh, their own uh, chatbots and many of these technology related uh, projects mm -hmm. so as a manager they have to take decisions and uh, for taking decisions we have got uh, uh, 12 13 uh, clubs and companies so they manage themselves oh, okay. Okay. so it's <laughs> they work like their own uh, uh, little little organization, which we, they, they run it, you know, uh, including majlis and uh, debating society and clubs and so on. So, now, sir, tell us something more about the specializations which have been offered by Big Tech. And while doing our research, we got to know that we focus a lot on the dual specialization. Right. So, what is the core importance of making someone actually study more than one subject? For the two years. So let me come uh, start with uh, the uh, type of specialization, mm -hmm. then I will explain to you about the dual specialization. Okay. So BIMTEC offers uh, one uh, flagship program called mm -hmm. Postgraduate Diploma in Business Management, mm -hmm. which we offer dual specialization. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we have got three other sectoral programs the one in insurance uh, business management, another one in international business, and third one is retail management. We also have got a very successful online PGD program, about which I will talk some time later. Coming back to your question of dual specialization. Mm -hmm. So while these sectoral programs are focusing on a uh, particular sector, the PGD program is a general management program mm -hmm. where people can join the cross industry. Mm -hmm. So what we have envisaged uh, four or five years ago that we said, look, you have to take a functional specialization mm -hmm. and then target your functional specialization to the industry where you want to bring your career. So we thought of a concept called uh, the uh, your employment queue. Okay. So you have got the function, you have got the industry, and you have got a technology. Yeah. So with how this technology is going to impact. So all our programs have got technology uh, in, inducted in all this process. So dual specialization means that in the you have to choose between marketing, operations, uh, IT, um, mm -hmm. and uh, HR. These are the functional functions you work. And the industry verticals are BFSI. Mm -hmm. You can take uh, take uh, IT and IT services as a functional uh, vertical specialization. Then business analytics. Mm -hmm. So this combination, the student can. Uh, pick and choose yeah. and then they have got flavors of both you know? mm -hmm. and that gives them a balanced view of how they are going to perform in the industry. Mm -hmm. I mean I've been uh, heading the consulting operations of IBM in India and we always used to groom our consultants into these three disciplines. We say you are part of a competency, you are part of an industry and you are part of the uh, function which you are trying to do. Mm -hmm. So if you are a manager, you will be, be a manager and let's say marketing manager mm -hmm. of a retail Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. So that is why this will help. Yeah. 
a marketing manager of uh, let's say a telecom company has to behave a little differently mm-hmm. because the industry is different. Yeah. So that concept is worked, and uh, that is uh, I can very safely say that uh, that program is the most committed program, mm-hmm. and our students uh, sort of buy for <laughs> taking that very specialization. We sometimes have to restrict it because of the uh, number of seats, yes. seats etc. But uh, that's the way it is, and we are very happy for. Uh, for what we have done so far. Mm. So, possibly all what you can understand is they can have a holistic experience about the function that they want to be in. Let's say marketing, finance, HR operation. But they can go very deep with respect to one industry of their choice. Right. right? Which is possibly need of the hour. So, once they go out, possibly they can be again very specific about what they have learned about the industry and the function while expressing why they are the best candidates when the job opportunities mm. are coming into play. Now, sir, let us talk about. Let me just add here, just, uh, just to the thought which has come. Look, the industry looks at uh, that whether this person is going to be fitting in my industry. Yeah. And he may be knowing marketing, but if he does not know marketing, how my industry takes it, mm-hmm. then it is, uh, it will be a lot of learning curve for that person. Mm-hmm. So, for example, somebody who has done the consulting course and is want to attend to the consulting industry, mm-hmm. which uh, from Vimtech will be easily productive. Yes. Okay. And their learning curve, they will have a very short runway mm-hmm. to start delivering on the job. Yes. And uh, we keep getting LinkedIn posts um, mm-hmm. from our students and alumni. They say, sir, this is what uh, was discussed in July at which your company they have gone. You discuss that in our class or that. So, which means that whatever we are uh, equipping them are more relevant to the times, more relevant to the industry. Mm-hmm. And obviously, they need to build on it. So now uh, let's talk about the program outcomes. I mean, the way people look at the MBA or the PhD program before joining the college, they want to talk about the placement outcomes or the career outcomes. Once they come, let's say, to the MBA, they have to go through a rigorous two year program. Right. So, being the dean of the academics, tell us what are the objectives of the program and how do you ensure the successful outcomes, the learning outcomes, comes, uh, out of the game program? So, the objective, you know, we have got a very structured method to define the program learning objectives and then we take it down to the course mm-hmm. and then finally we go to the subjects and all that. So that we rigorously monitor and track. And uh, it is achieved through various courses, various field works, dissertation, they have to do some research projects, mm-hmm. etc. Et mm-hmm. So that, that's how it, it is done. Finally, they have to uh, undertake uh, two major uh, activities. One is a summer internship where they go to a company for three months during the summer break and uh, deliver something, whatever the industry is asking, asking them. They can leave also uh, uh, ask them to do short-term projects, research projects, which they come along. And uh, we run a very interesting uh, lead program, leadership for, to design. And then what we do is that in this lead program, it runs for six uh, uh, months over a period of time where they have to keep on building uh, their profile and then the subject matter, what they have learned. The, the classroom interactions are not much. It is mostly about what they are doing in the in these, uh, these six months to build their own profile and then create some kind of a persona for themselves to become a leader uh, of their own. Sorry. Sir, you mentioned something about the summer internship opportunity and the projects which have been offered in the internet. Now, can you tell us elaborately about this? Let's say, which are the companies who are coming for uh, given projects in the Vintech students? What are the profiles of uh, internship opportunities which have been offered for Vintech? So, the list is pretty long and yeah. most of it is available on our website. So, uh, singling out one or two companies may not uh, be fair. But all that, some of it, these are who's are going the industry. Mm-hmm. Okay, the top, top 100 companies of uh, the country, they offer the internship program. Usually, depending upon the specialization they have chosen, mm-hmm. the internship is offered by these companies to work on live projects. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of them ask them to do some field work. Mm-hmm. And the, so there is an industry mentor as well as a faculty mentor. Mm-hmm. So they guide the student for the next three months. Mm-hmm. After that, they have to present a report. And that report uh, ends up in a viva, the viva for the industry mentor as well as the mm-hmm. plus I have another, another person uh, who is an independent person, they e- evaluate that. 
Yeah. This summer internship is a credit uh, uh, program where they earn the credit. If they don't earn, they lose out uh, many credits. So that is what we do. And at the end of it, uh, the outcome is uh, dictated by the kind of placement we do. Mm-hmm. Our placement record is very, very high. I can look at some of the numbers which have been given by my placement office. And uh, the, the, they say that, you know, so 2024, I will a commendable success rate with 84% uh, of the students securing placement across diverse sectors. Okay. And the rest of it also get placed because over a period of time, maybe they have not completed their degree or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, well, now tell us something about uh, if students are looking at the application or the admission process in their tech, mm-hmm. what are the things that you evaluate the students about? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, I'm sure they have to write the given examination and post that they have to come for the interview also. So, now, could you tell us, let's say from the academics or the admission side, what are some of the attributes that you look at in the candidate before you offer the admission later to them? All right. So, so basically, our admission process starts with the the first criteria is that they should have the uh, clear the CAT, MAT, and whatever, depending upon the program so that they have to clear and they apply. Mm-hmm. And after that, based on their uh, CAT percentile mm-hmm. as well as uh, their past uh, track record of uh, plus two and graduation, etc. whether they have got some experience. So we assign some vintages uh, for each one of them so that we create a shortlisted uh, profile. So let's say if 6,000 people apply, we shortlist about 1 is to 20 percent or 1 is to like that. And then based on that, we call for the interview. During the interview, it's a very interesting process because uh, we ask them to react to situations where they'll be given a small case list. Apart from the interviewer asking some generic questions yeah. about what is happening around, etc. And we resist uh, uh, asking this question, tell me something about yourself. Because we know that all the students will come prepared for that. So we tell them that you are a manager, you know, just read out this, this uh, five sentences. How will you react? So we, the moment the person is able to react, the candidate is able to react, the interviewer uh, sort of uh, evaluates, you know. Yeah. What type of uh, personality is he bringing? Is he willing to learn? Does he have got potential? Is he going to be uh, a good manager? And sometimes I tell my uh, admission team that uh, if you are a candidate, as if you are taking him or her for the job. If you are running your own company, would you like to take that person? Okay, does he have a potential to train? So uh, come from that perspective, not just uh, that, you know, whether he is a good Good, uh, good degree. Does he have the capacity or uh, interest in uh, demonstrating? Because we are a management team, so managers have to deliver. That's it. They will have a quarter to quarter pressure, they will have targets. Whether this student is able to take that. So, I mean, I'll not go into the detail what are the criteria of evaluation that is uh, more uh, confidential in nature, but it's a value balance criteria. We give certain advantages. Or we give additional points to, let's say, if somebody has got some experience, somebody has got a, let's say, higher percentage, or sometimes uh, to attract diversity. We give uh, certain marks for the people coming from Northeast or other uh, cases. Sometimes, I mean, this is a well defined process to give additional advantages to, uh, to attract diversity. Uh, in our weaker section of society, as well as, uh, per se, uh, uh, women, etc. So, those things are there to give the weight. Finally, when the list comes up, mm-hmm. we believe that uh, they're very close mm-hmm. based on that. Mm-hmm. So, it seems like you have already polished the admission process. There are just now the academics and the posting that we give the admission, etc. But look at the attributes on the skill set, whether you would be a successful manager. Yes or no, and the other big factors. I mean, this case rate thing is yeah. uh, it's a very exceptional. Yeah. I mean, I have gone to yeah. many, participated in many yeah. university mm-hmm. uh, before coming to Big Tech, uh, including I am in the selection process. Uh, we don't build that. We say, mm-hmm. here is the case, so tell, tell us what you did. Mm-hmm. And you give them time for the student to prepare themselves. Okay? Yeah. And it is not one, there's not one case that we have got some thousands in our university. So, so and we every year we revise it. We have got a, we've got a team, we've got that for us. 
and uh, they come out with situations and so that's, that's one part of it. Other than the other things like uh, uh, whether he is articulate enough, whether he or she is speaking uh, properly and why this and that, those things are there. Uh, after the COVID, uh, during the COVID, we started online uh, interview also, mm -hmm. which we are continuing, mm -hmm. but we also have offline yeah. because we don't want our students to come from all the way uh, and you know, go to travel, etc. So we conduct offline as well as online, both the uh, models. So, yeah. so lastly, we'll just take one last question. What advice or message you want to share with all the students who are looking forward for? Doing MBA in India or very specific about tech, what should they be ready for? So, uh, I just say the following: I say just do it. So don't don't wait, uh, don't wait. Uh, take take the plan, select a good institutions. Uh, look at the institution value system. Okay, look at the alumni track record. Look at the people, uh, faculty, for example, faculty, kind of faculty. I must say that our uh, um, thirty percent of more than thirty percent faculty are coming from industry, and uh, we have what's on the CEO. <laughs> so, so we come from industry, have having toys there, you know. So we have got a blend, a blend of experience and then research faculty and the experienced people who have come from industry. So you get that. You know, not just like admission alone, but there are people who who will uh, give, give you work. Well, uh, I would say that uh, they will give you advice from the trenches, you know, because they have been there and they say it doesn't happen, you know. <laughs> so, my advice would be the, to anyone when you select to take or any other place, match with your values, okay, and you take uh, one of the uh, unique things about you take is that you carry the Birla legacy and uh, our mission with them is about inclusive growth. We, we are very particular about uh, the diversity. Uh, it's a green campus. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have come here, we must have seen it's a green campus. Mm -hmm. we, have, we can get about 40% of our energy through solar means. You know? We don't waste anything. We have got a war on waste too. Now, these things bring the habit. Okay? Uh, we just not only give them only knowledge, we give them the skills. And then, the most important thing, which is very difficult to do, is the attitude. So we have KSA, right? So remember the three letters: knowledge, skill, and attitude. So attitude comes up uh, in the way they, they execute things. You know? I mean, in time, not wasting things. Uh, let's say this class or something. And we use a lot of technology to uh, to to be sustainable. Okay, we have elements. We don't give any print out as, as, unless it is absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they do their uh, so, to summarize, uh, well, don't wait, take the plan. Rahe to mushkil hongi, asan safar na hoga, but kuch karni ka jitwa, or roj basaya. So, that's the two lines I sometimes I read in my poetry. So, must do that. Okay. Uh, take, take your effort and then whatever choice you have taken, okay. excel in that. Okay. Excel in that. The life is. Uh, Next 30 to 40 years, whatever you have done today will have the impact, but uh, uh, what matters is that how you are able to utilize this time for your future. Alright, sir, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us and patiently answering all the questions which has come from the students and came to us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to me, and uh, we, we, uh, tomorrow uh, and then subsequent days, uh, there are programs where we have more interaction, open interaction where. The students and parents come and ask questions. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of them is scheduled tomorrow. And you can ask that question. We invite the parents and the students to yeah. come and yeah. the campus. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank you.